This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal. Today is Monday, March 19th, 2018. The title of this rant is, Is an Unstable President Good for Democracy? Now, I would say no. <laughs> now, I understand that it can be very difficult for people to keep up with going on with what's going on day in and day out in Washington. People have their jobs, they've got commute time, they have their hobbies, they have their kids, uh, they want to have some entertainment. So, and, and the purveyor of evil, this president, is doing his very, very best uh, to muddle up exactly what's going on here so it's hard to keep track of exactly what is really going on. But a couple things that have happened over the weekend should cause us grave concern. Number one, Andrew McCabe, a 21-year veteran of, this, of, of the FBI, was fired uh, 26 hours before he was due to get his pension. And the reason is, is that the betrayer of trust wanted him fired, and he was very explicit about it in a number of tweets. And this type of a thing should never have happened, uh, that, it, that the president gets someone who works for the FBI fired, all right? The second thing is that after that happened, the instigator of hate took direct aim at Robert Mueller's special counsel, which is investigating um, the Russian uh, a conspiracy, uh, obstruction of justice, and money laundering. He took direct aim at it, meaning that he specified uh, the special counsel specifically, something he had never done. He talked about it in general terms, but he went directly at it. And of course, all of his tweets were just full of hokum, bokum, all lies, all lies. And the thing about that is that's really concerning is that the GOP pushback on that was absolutely minuscule. Jeff Flake got up there and said a few things that it shouldn't happen. Uh, John McCain, via tweet, because he's very, very sick, uh, basically said it should go on. But from the leadership, not much. Nothing from Mitch McConnell and from Paul Ryan's office, the Speaker of the House, basically a spokesperson said it should continue. Now, Paul Ryan, who I call the blue-eyed Beelzebub, uh, couldn't say that directly, had to do it through a spokesperson and basically said it should continue, you know, and that speaks volumes of where the Republicans are. They are in lockstep with this guy and it's going to bite him in the ass. Now, what has happened is that this instigator of hate, and this is what reports are coming out now, is feeling totally emboldened. He trusts his own instincts. And prior warnings to him from those, uh, let's just say, who are counseling him around him, haven't been as bad as he thought, so he thinks he can do it all alone. He doesn't need to rely on his advisors. Now, if you remember six or eight months ago, there were some reports that came out where people said, if you even, out of the White House, basically saying, if you even had an inkling of some of the stuff, some of the ideas that we stopped about him, you would just, you know, roll over in your grave, you know. So, um, he wants to do what he wants to do. And he got an FBI director uh, uh, fired, which should have never happened. He is going after the Mueller investigation directly. The pushback from uh, 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 the Republicans is absolutely zip. And, you know, it appears, you know, as if this madness is going to increase. And this is not good for democracy in any way, shape, or form. And we must continue the resistance.